At restaurants across South Korea, the skyrocketing cost of food is hitting bottom lines hard. While diners want their hot lunch noodles on the cheap, restaurants like Lee Hyuk Joon's are left with few options. The prices of agricultural products have been very volatile, some reaching even two or three times their previous prices. With the huge impact of COVID-19 and the rising oil prices, we have had no choice but to raise our prices following the increase in costs for food products. Rising wages caused by labor shortages are also affecting costs, business owners say. Small businesses and restaurants had expected a rebound in sales as the COVID-19 pandemic receded. But now inflationary pressure is striking all manner of Korean staples, including rice-based snacks like dakbogi, a spicy stew, and kimbap, seaweed-wrapped rolls. Pandemic restrictions reduced demand for dine-in meals and drove many restaurants out of business. He held on, although he now worries hikes in noodle and vegetable costs may drive customers away. Our restaurant serves locals, return business, customers who come back over and over again. There isn't much of a floating population, so I'm a little worried because people here are middle class and sensitive to price changes. Lunchflation, as it's referred to in South Korea, has more people considering cheaper alternatives, including bag lunches. With shoppers looking to cut costs as prices rise, some shop owners are looking for profit in volume. Frank Smith, TRT World, Seoul.